Howdy guys, Jimmy Song here. In this video, I'm going to talk about another wish list for Bitcoin that I'd like to see in 2019, uh, which is a light wallet that is privacy preserving. Uh, one of the things that we've discovered over the years is that SPV has all sorts of vulnerabilities. Um, and it's not only bad for the client, which is losing privacy, it's also bad for the server because there are denial of service vectors. Um, what I'd like to see is something that is a lot more privacy preserving. Uh, something like Neutrino would be amazing because then that would allow people to um, use client-side filtering and uh, and not have to depend on or not, not give uh, information about what transactions are interesting to the server. Um, and that, that's at the heart of the security uh, in terms of privacy for a light wallet is not giving away information about your transactions. Now, on the other side, uh, uh, that's for when you're receiving, obviously. When, when, when you're receiving something, you, you want to be able to examine the blockchain in a way as to not give away any information about what you are interested in or which transactions are yours when you, um, when you connect to uh, a full node. Uh, what I'd like to see on the other side, which is uh, when you're sending Bitcoin, is is not to uh, is something like dandelion, which uh, which does multiple hops before it actually like transmits it to everybody else. Um, and this is an interesting protocol. Um, there are some uh, you know concerns with it as far as like trade offs and things like that. Uh, Suha Staffatur, who's a core developer, he he wrote an interesting post in uh, stack on Stack Exchange about it. But basically, I, I'd like to see this ability to transmit a transaction without people knowing exactly who sent it, because that's also trans, uh, that, that's also a loss of privacy. When you transmit a transaction on the network and they know your IP address, they suddenly go, OK, well, that uh, we know that that person uh, or that node has that much money and so on. So um, I'd like to see both of those things uh, incorporated into a light wallet. Right now, what we have in the ecosystem are a lot of wallets that use some sort of a server client architecture. They either trust some sort of Electrum server or in the case of something like Mycelium, they have their own proprietary servers that they connect to. A lot of other wallets are like that. Uh, you may think that you are doing things trustlessly. You're not really. You, you are actually connecting to servers and those apps implicitly trust those servers. Um, and that's, that's not a good situation because you want things to be trustless. You don't want those things to be compromised. If somebody hacks into um, you know, some sort of server and starts lying to you, they, you don't want them to be able to like uh, deceive you into sending certain funds in a different way. Now, those kinds of exploits kind of require a lot of control over exactly who you connect to and things like that. But um, getting rid of that vulnerability is a very important thing. And also, you don't want to reveal your privacy to these guys, right? Like uh, privacy, uh, uh, privacy holds also a security hole because you let the bad guys know who you are and how much money you have and so on. And that's that's not a good thing. That that eventually leads to people being able to hack into your server and uh, and take your money and so on. So that's something that I would really like to see. And uh, we find uh, like we finally had the right tech available that we should be able to do everything in the next year or two. Um, I'd like to see this happen very quickly, uh, but you know, I mean, as with all things, uh, they, they take more time. All right, anyway, hope that helps you. Uh, that's on my wish list for Bitcoin in 2019. This song is done.